All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get a few parts put on this SCX24. So I made two different sets of the steps that go by the doors. I don't forget. I don't know exactly what you call them. I know I put a set on my real truck, but <laughs> but this set just kind of goes on like slow. And you would put some glue, dab of glue on there. That's how it would look. But I also made these that are called more so like a rock slider. So these actually cover this area right here where that opening is. And use these four screws. I don't know if you guys can see that. But use these four screws and you just kind of screw it in. So that's the first part that I'm going to put on. And I think I'm going to take this part of this off while I do this. I think it just makes sense and make it a whole, things a whole lot easier. So I'm using this same tool kit, which I'll have a link in the uh, description also. Just remember guys, the longer screws go on the outside holes. So we're gonna get these and we're gonna line them up. So with the 3D parts, sometimes you'll have to go ahead and um, clean these holes a little bit, clean them up a little bit. And that's just by go ahead and uh, screwing the screw in. All right, guys, just remember when you are putting this long screw back in here and here, the two outside screws, make sure you put that link back in there. You got to make sure you do that. So we're going to go ahead and get the other side knocked out. I went ahead and took the rear off also. I meant to do it earlier. But all you do is just take these four screws out and it just comes right off. Gotta be real careful with this guys. You gotta get these links back in place. And this side is giving me the blues. All right guys, rock sliders are installed. Just remember when you're installing these, make sure you get those long screws on all four of those sides put back into place into the little pivot wall. Now these are gonna probably help out quite a bit when I'm crawling. Now, I also got to go in and install these, which are for a better clearance. See that bin? I'm not gonna put them on today, but that's my first mod, I would say. Got a couple other things, got a, quite a few other things. But I'm gonna do one more mod when I'm putting this body back on. I'm gonna go ahead and use this particular mod. So this just goes like so. Like so, I'm sorry. Like this. I'm gonna go ahead and get the screws and put the screws in. I'm gonna take this off guys. I think it's gonna be a whole lot easier just to do it with these with this part off all right so now I'm gonna take this part and this part 
get it in the right position. Um, the screws and get this put back together. All right, so to get these back in, you're gonna tilt it up like so. And you're gonna have to get that screwdriver in somewhat of a of an angle. These things are just so small, and, you know, everything's tight on it. You don't want to over tighten anything either, because you'll strip out the plastic. You're going to come back to the other side and you're going to get it in that position again. All right, for this, I don't know what size screw this is, but I wanted to get something, and I'm using the stock tire wheel set, I guess wheel and tire, something that just fit right through here. And this fits right on the hex. So we're gonna put it on like so. And just gonna screw it in there. And it's all set. Now, I am gonna say, this is probably not gonna help it out. It's gonna probably hurt the uh, weight being up higher and it's not really the best uh i guess you would say skill look but it actually looks pretty good i still don't know how much crawling i'm going to actually do but both of these upgrades look look really good and like i said i printed all these myself all these parts here are printed you can see on the video before this video so as of right now, only thing we got put on are the rock sliders and the rear wheel. Now what upgrade would you guys like to see me put on next? I feel like the mode in the ESC is going to be last. I want to get a lizard or either, uh, I forgot the other one, what it's called, but it's by, I guess it's Fury Tech. At some point I'm going to get one of those, but right now I'm still going to stick with the one I showed you guys earlier on another video. But I think this this thing's coming together pretty good. I think next I'm gonna probably do the roof rack, and that looks real good. I'm deciding how I want to put it on there. I don't think I'm gonna screw any holes in there. I got a couple of different ways I can do it, and I'll probably do the bumper next. I don't know. Had made my mind up. Got a couple other things. The servo and the motor is probably going to be the last thing. And I may do this riser that goes in the back. And I'm assuming, I think it just stops it from sitting down real low like it does now. I think it kind of just give it a more of an even. Um, instead of sagging, I guess I would say. Yeah, really like the look of it. Got to hurry up and get this installed because I really like the way that looked when you put that on. But guys, that's it. Till next time, this is GNC RC.